Hey guys, this is Mrs. Howard and we're glad that you're joining us for another video from DMS Flipped Math. Today we're talking about percent of change. Sometimes you'll hear that um, percent of increase or percent of decrease. Percent of change just is a ratio that compares a new amount to an old or an original amount. If that amount increased, we have a percent of increase. If that amount decreased, we've got a percent of decrease. A recent example may be the fact that the new iPhone just came out. So you've got the iPhone 4S that probably sells with a new contract for $200. Well, the old iPhone, the iPhone 4, that used to sell for $200 is now only $100. And so we know that it decreased by $100, but we might want to know the percent that it decreased so that the manufacturer could figure out more about their sales. Um, so let's go ahead and get into how we find percent of change. All right, to find a percent of change, the first thing that we've got to do is identify if the amount increased or decreased. So if the amount went up, obviously it's an increase. If the amount went down, obviously it's a decrease. And we're comparing that always to the original amount or where it started out. Then once we know whether it's an increase or decrease, we can use a simple formula where we place the amount of change, how much it changed, which we can find by subtracting the amounts, over the original amount. We know that a fraction or a ratio is just a division problem, so we're dividing those to find our percent of change. So let's get into a couple of examples. Here's our first example. We have an original of 15 and a new of 12. So what we want to do is compare the change in the amount to the original or where it started. Okay? So change we can find by subtracting our two amounts. So we're going to do 15 minus 12. And the original obviously here is pretty easy, 15. So this change, 15 minus 12, equals 3. Our original is still the 15. And from here we just need to kind of use our knowledge of how to change this fraction to a percent. And there's quite a few ways we can do that. We could just simplify. So 3 and 15 can both be divided by 3, which would be 1 fifth. If I want to, I can divide 1 by 5 and get a decimal. Or I also know that both of these can be multiplied by 20 to get me a fraction out of 100 and give me 20%. Okay? And then, of course, I have to know whether that change is an increase or decrease. Well, my original is 15 and I went down to 12. So this is a 20% decrease. Alright, let's take a look at another example. A amount of 4 and a new amount of 5. So again, we're comparing the change in the amount to the original amount. Okay. So my change I just find by subtracting 5 minus 4. And my original is identified here as 4. 5 minus 4 gives me that it changed by 1 over my original of 4. And then I just need to do what I want to change that to a percent. These are one of those easy fractions that I know. 1 fourth equals 25%. I want to look at my amounts. My original was 4. My new is 5, and so if I went from 4 to 5, I had an increase. And so this is a 25% increase. Alright, now I want you to apply what you know and try this in a word problem. Go ahead and pause the video here and work the third example. Alright, for your third example, Bill paid $20 for a new DVD three years ago. Yesterday, he paid $15 for a new DVD. Find the percent of change. So, we know we're looking for the change and the original. Easy, the change, 20 minus 15. Okay. The thing that we might have a little trouble with is identifying which one of those is the original. So, Bill paid $20 for a new DVD three years ago. Yesterday was $15. Just think about which one came first. Did he pay the $20 first or the $15 first? Okay? And since the $20 is the one he paid first, that's going to be our original price that we're going to put on the bottom. Okay? 
So our amount of change, 20 minus 5, is a change of 5 over the original of 20, which can be simplified to 1 fourth, and we know that 1 fourth is 25%. Again, identify whether it's an increase or a decrease. So if, since we started at 20 and we went down to 15, that means we've got a 25% decrease. Remember guys, if there's anything that you didn't get in the video, feel free to rewind, go back through, pause, make sure you understand the concept, and come to class ready to work tomorrow. Have a good night guys.